uh, the subspaces of R3 are planes. Uh, R3 itself is a plane. So uh, the uh, subspace of R3 is itself. Uh, R3 itself is the subspace of R3. Of course, lines because any line is in the plane. Um, uh, and uh, any uh, a Z containing zero zero zero. Okay. Um, so all those are subspaces of R three planes lines. R three itself is a subspace of R three, and uh, Z uh, containing uh, zero zero. zero. Uh, Z is the single vector zero zero zero. Okay, it says uh, describe uh, the three types of subspaces of R two. Okay, well with the same exact logic, um, uh, R two uh, we have R two itself, just like R three itself. That's a subspace of R two. So R two is a subspace. Uh, we have lines. Any any line that goes through zero zero is a subspace lines passing through zero 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 and of course just like uh, the zero 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 vector uh, in r3 so is uh, the point zero zero in r2 that's also a subspace all these are closed under addition and multiplication and therefore they qualify as subspaces for part b it says describe uh, all subspaces of d the space of two by two diagonal matrices diagonal meaning uh, a z a b real numbers along the diagonal zeros elsewhere these are the diagonal matrices and what are their subspaces well uh, first we know that vector 0 0 0 0 is a subspace that's one answer because it's a diagonal matrix if we were to add it multiply it by any uh, constant and add it to another vector uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 multiplied by any other scalar, uh, we will get uh, something, uh, we will get a diagonal matrix. So it's closed under addition and multiplication. Uh, we also have uh, the linear combinations of this matrix, because by definition a subspace contains all its linear combinations. So uh, if I were to go 1 0 0 0 so all the linear combinations of this uh, and also so the so the linear combinations of this linear combinations of this matrix and also of the identity matrix. Any linear combination of that is also a subspace of uh, D.